Ah, uh, yes. It's one of those calming days. Nice cup of tea during Lent. Yes. Pinky's up, folks. This hobo, for he has to have crumpets with his tea. What, what uncivilized barbarian does not have crumpets with tea? Filthy, disgusting hobo Tom. Oh, hello, folks. I am the one, the most world-renowned wrestling scholar. For I am Dr. Tom. And I was asked here, by that hobo who's doing God knows what, God knows where, at God knows who. For I'm here to talk about some fast lane to educate you, the illiterate masses of plebeians out there. I'm here to talk about fast lane for obviously that one simpleton. Hijo del Hobo, El Vagabundo, number two, obviously lacks the proper wrestling knowledge. For in the last show, he was received a mark. Terrible. Uh, just to cleanse my palate, thinking of that vile, disgusting troglodyte. Must have a nice sip of tea. While we listen to my music. So refreshing. Yes, for I am here to educate you, the masses, the wandering masses, the sheep like masses on Fast Lane. For that is. This coming Sunday. Indeed. So these matches are not necessarily in order, but again, from the scribble of that hobo Tom. So probably to start off, there are so many matches that could be on the pre-show, even headline this main, this, the show. Let's just start with what the hobo has. We have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Mr. Seth Rollins, who, by the way, looks very dapper in those obviously custom and tailored suits of his. Shinsuke Nakamura wins. This might lead to something for WrestleMania, though. Then we shall have Big E, the Intercontinental Champion, taking on Apollo Crews, a man of noble Nigerian blood and lineage. Hmm, this could be intriguing. I think Apollo Crews is going to win said title. And therefore, Big E can accomplish the feat of feats by having the, the Intercontinental Championship most adorned and recognized belt. Get that back at WrestleMania. And now, in my stone cold lock of the night. Nia Jax and the true grappling artiste Shayna Baszler takes on the boss. The boss of what? The boss of the commode. The boss. I can't even think of it. The boss of the bidet. Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. For who would name their child after a hodgepodge city in California of all places. Oh, the smog. Terrible. 
for Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. She'll be victorious and retain those women's champ tag team championship belts. And now, unfortunately, in my snooze of the night, the time that I shall be relaxing with a fine cup of tea. For unlike the masses that drink grog and whatever swill that comes out of the sewer system, or that they call beer. Ugh. Tea, folks. It's the way to go. It's healthy and tasty for you. But Braun Strowman shall face the boss's son, Shane McMahon. Shane, why would you lower, lower yourself to such degradation and face this bruiser, bully, neolithic person in Braun Strowman? Shane wins. And again, this continues things. There's going to be some hijinks. Yes, some shenanigans shall be afoot. And again, fascinating is just the build-up to WrestleMania. But Shane will win. I shall not care. I'll be enjoying one of my, or one of Hobo Tom's many books that he keeps in a library. For he does read a lot for being a hobo. Indeed. Then... Scandalous! Alexa Bliss! Challenge Randy Orton! Man of the stature and strength of Randy Orton's size and his demeanor taking on such a petite, frail flower like Alexa Bliss. I feel a bonus coming along. The Fiend shall make his return. And of course, Alexa Bliss shall be victorious. Again, further setting up a feud between Randall Orton and The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Ooh. A cinematic experience for WrestleMania. That I shall enjoy the comfort, well, not of here, but my own posh and palatial office. Then we finally get to the meat of the matter in what could be a near double main event. We have the leader of the Yes Movement, the Everyman's Wrestler, Daniel Bryan, taking on the head of the table. The tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns shall be victorious, for he still must face Edge at WrestleMania and vanquish Edge from the WWE. Who knows? After WrestleMania, Edge might join his fellow, fellow comrade, Christian, in AEW. Who knows? And then what will be the match of the night? This, folks, will be a true fisticuffs. A true brouhaha. A true contest of physicality between Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Oh, those ill-tempered Scots and the crazy Irish. Indeed. For there will be no tea drunk at that match. But blood shall be spilt. Yes. For this is my match of the night. And Drew McIntyre. He will win. And possibly face Mr. Robert Lashley at WrestleMania. Or will something be afoot? Only time shall tell. Again, on behalf of one Hobo Tom, I would like to thank you for watching. Again, please enjoy your cup of tea responsibly. 
Again, I bid ye a fair adieu. That means goodbye to all you illiterates out there or uncivilized and just say, Wah! So.